Like, well, tell me if I'm saying this first word right. Because I was, what, what is this word? Leper. Yeah, leper Messiah. Leper Messiah, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on Rappers React. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood 6, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke Dog. What up? I got trivia. Ah, oh, what you got? Oh, let's see here. What do I got for old Smoke Dog today? Let's see. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Okay, how about this? What three-letter word means the front of a ship? The bow? You are correct. God dang you, Sweet. sorry, you son of a bitch. Okay, how about this? Where were U.S. coins with the letter S on the minted? San Francisco. How'd you know that? I know San Francisco, Denver. Where's the other one? Is it Washington? Yeah, there's three big mints, I believe. You still blow my mind to this day. All right, how about this? Which book of the Bible follows Exodus? Uh, there is a bi uh, there's a book called Exodus. Follows Exodus. Oh, uh, Leviticus. God dang, dude! You ever reading the Bible on the low? Uh, sometimes, yeah. I bet you do. I bet you do. Okay. Um. Uh, man, this. Okay. Damn, this is gonna be tough. Okay, all right. Name some big cats in the jungle. Tiger. Another one. Lion. Another. One. Uh, Starts with an L. Uh, a liger? Nope. Uh, a l um, it's uh, also kind of a disease. Lemur? Uh, lem lemix, uh, lemix, uh, what, what do you? What would you say? <laughs> it's also kind of a disease. It's oh leopard. Okay, wait. Take the D off. Leper. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Uh, another word for like God. Uh, Starts with an M. The the mega uh, the, the the I don't know. What okay. Um, um. Praise to it's big like the God. Uh, okay. Uh, your grandmama came in the room when you got all them clothes and toys that were boy clean up this mess. Oh Messiah. So is it Leper Messiah? You got it, my right. friend. <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. Comes directly from you. Right down in the comment section. And today, Metallica. Metallica. Yeah. We are on some Metallica. Yeah, some people like to lick metals. And you, you would be a Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds derogatory. For Don't some. it? <laughs> Freaking Metallica. <laughs> yeah. Are you a Metallica? I mean, depends on depends on what day it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, out of this is this is crazy to me because we've done so many Metallica songs, mm -hmm. and I've never. I mean, of course, this comes straight from the comments, but this might be one of those ones that has been hidden. Like, Yeah, cause... maybe so. I don't recall ever seeing this in the comments. I'm sure it has been somewhere. Like, well, tell me if I'm saying this first word right, because I was, what? what is this word? Leper. Yeah, leper Messiah. Leper Messiah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like a diseased-ridden person. They used to have leper colonies for certain diseases you know and they would they would group them all up so they'd make a whole colony of just the diseased people so that they would stay separated from the yeah, healthy they'd population they'd be lepers yeah. you're a leper yeah huh. but isn't the is isn't leprosy there leprosy is the disease leprosy yeah. that's right is yeah. that is a name of a disease right mm -hmm. damn so you if to metallica you have to be the messiah of leprosy <laughs> yeah that's like being the nicest guy in prison ain't it like you're 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 the Messiah, but uh, it's of uh, the lepers. So I don't know how good that is. 
You know what? I was going to ask you what this song could possibly be about, but I think you just hit it on the head. Yeah, probably so. It's someone who is the Messiah, but no one. Oh, my God. I just thought of something. The Messiah of something you don't want to be. Or what if it's a Messiah, like the Messiah, the God, and people have said, you know, we revoked you. We don't, you haven't given us anything. So now we're looking at you as a leper. Like an outcasted God. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. Maybe. Smoked up. What up? <laughs> Let's get. Oh, let's do it. it. Oh, see, I was wondering if it was new, but it's not. Oh, this master of puppets. Do we get a yell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we get one? This whole album has been fire. It has, yeah. Hypnotized, now you follow 
Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> Man, I love how Metallica can go from thrash and then into groove and then back into thrash. It's almost like a progressive form of metal, isn't it? Because yeah, they do so many changes. You're forgetting the lyric, the storytelling. Oh yeah. Add that to it. Oh, dude. absolutely. James is really good at. Uh, it, it's metaphorical a lot of times too, but he always gets the story across in the end. Yeah, man. It's like, dude, I'm sorry, Trash Talkers. Y'all can hate on me for this, but I think Master Puppets might be their greatest album. It might be. It might be their I greatest mean, album. I mean, I... Man, I have a love for Ride the Lightning. Ride the Lightning is fire. Yeah. Ride the Lightning is fire, but Master of Puppets encompasses everything. Yeah. Like... It, uh, it's a lot of real-world topics. Okay. Let's speak on that for a minute. Yeah. Now, uh, Leper Messiah... Yeah. Now we've heard on this album them talking about you know drug dealers. Yeah. And we've heard them talk about. That's what I thought this was about at first. But in a way, it might be. Think about it, Leper Messiah. Like, yeah, your I'm, disease is your addiction. Thank you. But see yeah. now, what I'm going, where I'm getting from this song. First of all, the chunkiness, and you were uh, right, yeah. dude. Yeah. They can go from groove to thrash and yeah. just kill it. And it's all chunky. But now when they when James adds his uh, lyrics to it, dude. Mm -hmm. It's almost like he's saying on this particular song, and Trash Talkers, you guys can tell me if I'm right or not down in the comment section, but it's almost like he's speaking about, he's talked about the drug dealers. Mm -hmm. He's talked about the pimp and the, the person pimping other people. Mm -hmm. He's talked about, you know, the higher ups in the government pimping the lower, mm -hmm. or the lower class people. But in this one, it sounds like, hey, kind of might be talking about the in the TV what do they call it in Inve uh, evangelist <laughs> what do they call TV evangelist evangelist that's right you have me flustered for a second and and you brought up the word disease maybe that is that some people are so caught up into where hey oh i need god i need this and you yeah. and if you do that's fine that's cool yeah. but he's but there are people out there who get, who's going to take advantage that. of that yeah yeah exactly i think that is what he's talking about in this Cause he said something about you need your Sunday fix and yes. come to me and give me the green and I'll, I'll get you. That's what they do. They sell heaven, right? Yeah. They sell you on the promise of you pay us, I'll show you how to get to heaven. So that when you die, you got a lifetime full of glory here. You know, Man. just just make sure we're taken care of on earth. So You'll you be can taken be taken care, care of, of in the afterlife. Exactly. Yeah. That is crazy. Crazy proposition, if you think about it. You know what's crazy is what if that's actually the truth? Like, what if that's actually? If it is, yeah. That's... You haven't been paying your t uh, evangelist. Yeah. I ain't been paying my evangelist. <laughs> yeah. What if there are like, I mean, but so many of them have been found out. Like. You yeah, know, but they, you don't. No one it. knows until you die. Yeah. But yeah. like, what if these? Well, people... I mean, like, like some of. Don't you ever speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, what was it? What was his name? I forgot his name. The dude the that had the, the airplane, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, so like that, like that. They'll they'll have the big congregations, right? And they'll bring up somebody like, "Oh, you got a disease." Well, God's telling me you you can't walk. You know, like, well, you rolled up in a wheelchair. How'd you ever figure that? <laughs> you know. <laughs> but they have earpieces in, and someone back there has read their little prayer devotional card and feeding the pastor what the the symptoms are that they need to get rid of and then you know he talks and i'm like i can tell you've got a really bad rash on your back you know how did you know that yeah and that's that's what they're so amazed by wait all right hold on let's play coincidentally this is crazy that i'm even gonna say that let's play devil's advocate for a minute <laughs> yeah. let's play devil's advocate what if james is saying okay yes oh you got a rash on your back or oh yeah. you can't walk but all right, what percentage? Because you've seen people, oh, I haven't been able to, dude, I've, uh, or I haven't been able to walk in 30 years, and then they put their hands and they pray on them, and they get up and they actually yeah, walk. See. Or, well, wait, hold on. Or like, oh, I haven't been able to move my right arm, and then they put their hands on here and they move their right arm. Yeah. Like, what percentage of that is right? And at the same time, I've seen ones where they say, have you seen the meme? It's crazy we call it a meme. But have yeah. you seen the one where the guy was like, I am not gay. I oh, do yeah. not like men yeah, anymore. The, the 
pastor. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. what yeah. if those people, those evangelists are saying that? What do you think the percentage? Well, as of, far as the guy not being gay anymore, that's probably him getting so into the sermon that I don't like man's himself. no. Yeah, he's telling himself <laughs> in the moment, I'm healed. I am actually But healed. why is that a healing thing? Well, if that's what you do, that's what you <laughs> because do. Because that's what the, you know, the Bible says you shouldn't be doing that. So that's a disease that they're, you know, they're passing it off as a disease and somehow we're going to pray it out of you. Now, there's things like that where your mind can can actually heal something on your body as long as you get wrapped up and you believe enough, you know, like like say you're you're you got dead arm or whatever somehow your brain unlocks something because you're so into this and your DMT is kicking and flooding your body and you're like, I can actually move it now. But that that's your mind causing it to happen, but, right? But who's to say that the evangelist didn't unlock that part of your mind? Well, yeah, he probably did. Yeah, Because they're so into it that your brain just creates this neural pathway that causes something to happen that you couldn't do before. But then there's also stories about plants where you know they plant someone in the audience that supposedly can't yeah. walk and then they roll up and they're like I'm going to show everybody I'm going to heal him right here and then he gets up and walks. So you know? do you think 9 do, what what percentage of people who ride up there with some sort of uh disability mm -hmm. what percentage percentage if you had to say was actually a real disability and that evangelist cured it? That's so hard to say. I don't know. And like, like I said, I mean, I'm agnostic to it all. I mean, there could be some real healings going on out there. I don't know. And I, I can't say that they're all real or they're all fake. Look, me and Smokey have both been going through things our entire life. <laughs> what if the key of a key is just us going to like we one of these churches? Yeah, we got to go to one of those churches. <laughs> and we've been neglecting it the <laughs> yeah. whole time, dude. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just I I love the fact that James and especially this era of Metallica, they can they can take whether you want to call it a mockery or whatever you want to call it they can mm -hmm. take something where some people put their entire life into it and you you brought up earlier about you know um talking about some of the lyrics in the song mm -hmm. it's like he's like you know maybe we are kind of effed up in the head thinking that these people can cure us yeah. of these things yeah. but what if we are the effed up ones where it's like <laughs> hey not believing it yeah that's so crazy dude yeah. the power of metallica man <laughs> yeah absolutely I, I mean i know that your brain has capabilities that we don't understand, understand. 100%, 100%. And, you know it could be out there it could be a divine entity working through some people or it could just be all faked i mean you really can't make that call if you don't know that's a fact Listen, mm -hmm. I've I've told I, I this is the motto I live by. Me and Smokey both having somewhat of an agnostic faith, but mm -hmm. I live by the faith of just treat people right, just do people right, and you're probably gonna get done right. Don't lie to people, yeah. don't steal, don't don't do stupid crap to people yeah. that's gonna you know work over people. And if you ask me, I think that and this may not have nothing to do with um leper um messiah but i really feel like james might be saying hey don't feed yourself into these people who are telling you that if you follow the way i'm telling you yeah. then you'll probably you'll live a better life just and do all we need is money that's that's it that's it, the problem that's now, it. If they're out there doing it for free i'd be more inclined to believe well it. then at the same time what about when we on salem road driving down the street and you got people with megaphones saying jesus saves well, they're doing yeah. it for free true yeah. Why you don't get out and talk to them? Oh, I have. I, I have to. Absolutely I ain't gonna have. lie. I've had four hour conversations <laughs> yeah. with Jehovah's Witness that knock at my door. Trust me, I spent many years of my life trying to figure out what's uh, going on in the the other realm. It's, Look, it's still a mystery after all yeah, these years. Yeah, it is, man. Again, guys, the. I'm not trying to be an evangelist right now, but the best thing to do is just treat people right. Yeah, because if there is this uh, all-knowing God that is so loving, he created everyone and he loves everyone so much, he should have an understanding that you don't understand, right? Ooh, that if, if you don't understand it, he is going to understand that you don't understand, understand. it. Yeah, because that per if you believe this, that yes. God made you to not understand. Exactly, yeah. 
We're going a little too deep here. Yeah, probably so. We definitely are. Right. Guys, thank y'all for telling us to check out Leper Messiah <laughs> Metallica <laughs> because this took us on a complete different turn than we thought it was going to take us and guys let us know what's next by metallica down in the comment section and with that being said my name is behringer hollywood six bye i am larry smokey ramirez Come and we are over and out deuces yeah mm, let's go church no hell no fuck it let's go yeah I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we covered, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.